Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a quick review for you of this iX 720p IP camera. This is a security camera that's designed to use around the house. The um, resolution of this is 720p. It uses an app that connects to it and uh, the app I actually used before and it's called MIPC. Uh, the app itself has some quirk and I do want to show you guys that today and um, but uh, basically it's the same app as before. So along with the camera you also get an instruction menu which I show you how to use it. Uh, this is a pretty standard cloud setting for it. The way this is designed is that you just have to use the QR code at the bottom of the unit here and then you just scan your camera in after you plug it in with your ethernet cable and then it's ready to go. So after that you can set up Wi-Fi and from then on you don't have to use the cable anymore. You also get a mounting plate. This is designed to mount to the wall and then you can screw this to the bottom of the unit. You also get some screw here to mount it along with some uh, drywall hook. And then uh, finally you have this uh, power cable. Uh, what really frustrated me about this power cable is that it's actually only 3 feet long which is uh, really short. Anyone who want to use this kind of IP camera would uh, want a longer cable and so you have to use an extension cable or buy another cable that's longer. So that's kind of annoying that the adapter is short. So here's the camera as you can see up front here you have three light. You have the Wi-Fi light, a power light and a Ethernet light. So when you plug it in this light will be red and these two light will be green and blinking depending on which one you have in. So if you have both wire and wireless uh, light they actually will blink. But but, uh, you can actually enable both of them and it will pick the best and usually you just use the ethernet but you disable the ethernet the uh, Wi-Fi will come on as long as you set up the Wi-Fi there's your camera lens right here you can adjust this uh, focus point if you wanted to but it pretty much come with the proper focus distance now and then you have this uh, LED light here that is the infrared LED for night vision of course there is the light sensor for automatically switching to night there is your microphone for picking up sound and then on the side here that you have a little speaker that you can talk from the app and then it will broadcast onto here in the back of the unit, of course, you have your 5 volt power supply, your Ethernet port, the micro SD port. I have a little micro SD card in here to record uh, motion and uh, other recording on demand also. There's your antenna. Uh, the antenna here is not detachable, which can be annoying. So if you break this, you just kind of screw. And then there's a function button here, which I didn't know what it does. The instruction doesn't say anything about it. And when I press it, it doesn't do anything. So to use the iGeek camera, you just have to get the app. And the app is called MIPC, as you can see here. You can download this for both. Android and iOS. So the first time you launch the app you have to create an account but after that you can just uh, log in and uh, you can just add your camera. So to add a camera you can just press this plus button, button up here and then at the bottom of the camera there's a QR code that you just need to scan. For the camera you just need to give it power and ethernet for the first time. You can scan in the QR code and then just set up your Wi-Fi and from then on you can use Wi-Fi and you don't need to use the uh, Y cable anymore. When you have the camera ad, I have two cameras here, one at my parents house and one at mine. So it's uh, actually a different company but it's basically the same camera rebrand but the one we're talking about today is this one right here. This is the IE camera. You can see here I use the same software and it takes a few seconds for it to load up as you can see. And uh, there's the image. It's a live image and you can actually uh, swipe to move around. So if you swipe just a little bit. It'll move the camera and my kid is down still playing right now as you can see. Uh, of course you can also rotate uh, to get the full view. This is the 720p view of course. Again, uh, swipe to move around and then you can go up and down. And uh, to swipe as you can see, you swipe down goes up kind of thing. You can press this little icon here to get some settings. So you have brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness and then you have mode for day and night and auto. Right now it says on auto which means at day it's going to be bright and at night it will go to night vision. So let me just show you what night vision look like. Right now, in the day, I'll show you a footage later for night vision. Uh, of course, so we set back to auto, and then under resolution here, you have a few you can pick 720p, of course, and then you have VGA, you have Quad VGA, and then you have like this, you know, QVGA, whatever is at the bottom here. And that's all the setting. There's also a reset button, you need to reset any of these settings. So here you can see it's a live picture downstairs right now. It's currently dark down there, and you can see uh, everything is lit up really well by the night vision, as you can see here. Of course, if you have a closer object, it's going to light up really well. Uh, for example, in the corner here, I have a little tent, and uh, as you can see here, the infrared hit it. Uh, it's really strong and it light up this whole tent here. But, but you can see here the uh, brightness control is being made right here. So if you go back right to the opening here, uh, past the tent that I have, uh, you can see that uh, again it looked very nice so just kind of give you an idea of what a night vision look like so you can expect about 15 to 20 feet in front of you with really nice uh, clear up vision so at night you can see really well and uh, you can see that there is the back of my dining room and that's roughly about 25 30 feet away actually uh, at the bottom of the unit you have three icon you have video which is what we're in right now and there's a record and in record you can see the camera recording so here is the other night in black and white as you can see let me turn this and this actually is just a picture, it's not a video. 
if you go to setting you have all these different settings you can pick so about let you know about the camera uh, what kind of software it has all that stuff you have nickname administrative password you can pick ethernet wi-fi on-screen displays which you can turn on and off for uh, displaying text um, and then you have stuff like uh, motion detection uh, sd card motion detection here you can pick for example going to motion detection you can set how sensitive these things are so the more sensitive it is of course that means it will be more sensitive to picking up motion so then if they detect motion it can take a picture do a snapshot and do an io alarm but it's able to record uh, pictures and video when it detect motion uh, you can turn on the alert here so that your phone will get notification. Uh, for me, this uh, feature here is, is a miss or hit. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And, uh, you also have some other settings like upgrade to the latest firmware. Right now, it's showing me that this is the firmware I have. And uh, if you hit online, it say upgrade, but it doesn't really find anything. In this main uh, viewing screen, you also have another option. You can turn on the sound. So for example, let me make sure my sound is on here. And we can turn on the volume. There you go and you can listen in there's also a mic button that you can press to talk to the uh, phone here and then it will transmit that to the camera that also work well there's a snapshot picture which you can uh, press the button here to take a snapshot and then there we go it's safe and then there's also a video option that you can record on demand here by clicking on it you can see that it says recording and it start recording and the thing is on uh, and yeah you can just click it again to turn it off and if now you go to record you see those different recording that I recorded here as you can see so yeah you can play these back and all these are recorded to the micro SD card that's installed on the camera so yeah uh, when you run out of space it will basically override the oldest file and continue writing my only problem with this is sometimes uh, the accessing is is can uh, be a little bit slow if you have a picture it will load up pretty fast but sometimes the video streaming it doesn't load up that well and it doesn't work that well sometimes so overall this camera works pretty well it's quite simple to set up and the resolution on this camera is quite good you can make some good adjustment on the app however the app does have some code and playing back and setting motion is not as straightforward of course the app I previously reviewed and was not totally satisfied with it and uh, now you still have the same app uh, just a different camera basically so it's like kind of like a rebrand I guess so that's pretty much my quick review of this iGeek 720p IP camera I hope it helped you in your budget decision and if you have any question let me know in the comment below and as always stay tuned for future review. Thank you.